auto save the video game. No, not 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 quite. This is oh, I don't look at the launch bar to tell what the game is, but it doesn't say that. It says Satari. Immortal. This is immortal. I think it had a subtitle, but that's not shown here, so I'm gonna just look at the title, I guess. <laughs> also, uh columnar jointing. <laughs> just immediately. Just just fastest time to call and rejoicing call out ever literally on the first title screen holy shit so this is a self-described ultra hardcore rpg uh they were had nice enough to give out preview codes and stuff this game comes out on september 7th and i know very little about it which is to say basically nothing there it is there's that inversion mm, get it in me uh it seems to Oh, there's advanced. I was like, does it not have graphics settings? Uh, graphics, uh, fucking high. Yeah! Get in there. Ooh. It disappeared. It's back. Alright, cool. Let's go. Are you sure you want to start a good new game? Reject. A very strong not confirm. <laughs> Hello. Prisoner name. Select name prisoner. Not prisoner. Got it. Alright. Female model? Uh. Kind of. <laughs> Wait, left and right on the joystick both rotate the character to the left. That's weird. Huh. Interesting female model you got there. Whoa. Tracker. Vandal. Marksman. All right, so tracker, trackers are swift hunters. Their flexible carbine gains increased effective range with its tactical scope, and their daggers strike fast and effortlessly. Their training and innate aspect pattern allow masterful weapon weapon handling and minimal reload times. Innate aspect pattern, huh? So they have a scoped carbine and they have daggers. Vandals are masters of the art of destruction. Their defend their defender rifles are fitted with grenade launchers to blast groups of enemies. Using cleavers to finish off any survivors. They're nimble enough to avoid danger and their innate aspect part pattern makes them resilient to fire and explosions. So whatever your innate aspect pattern is seems to be like a, a passive bonus, basically. So grenade launcher and cleavers. That's a different one. Marksmen excel at long-range combat. They use accurate rifles to acquire targets from far away and fire at critical spots and then set up switched swords for backup. Uh, they're more deadly at long range. That's a, Those are cool looking swords and I like sniper rifles. And I also like to pick the non-traditional build in a lot of games where they give you they give you different options in a lot of these things and I often be like, I like to be like, hey, let's check out the spellcaster and stuff like that instead of the obvious warrior. So if they're going to give me a sniper rifle option, I'll figure out how that goes. I'm curious. Skin color type 6. Okay, so you can customize the the hell out of your character here. Just make him red. <laughs> uh, it'd be a little easier to see what these hair the hair looks like without the the face thing? Can I take the face thing off? Uh, none of these options look like they're a um, take off the mech thing option. Whoa! A mohawk made entirely of uh, bolted gears. Okay. These are some options. What, is this just bald? Yeah. That's a, that's a main. Another mohawk. Other, well, bigger mohawk. Swept back. Ponytail. The first one, which... Looks like the ghost in the shell. Yeah, ghost in the shell. Like Major's haircut, basically. Huh. I feel like I've got to go with that, because that thing's ins that's insane. Oh. Facial hairstyle. Yeah, that's what I think when I think facial hair. Okay, let's, let's just go to one. Oh god, there's a lot. Okay. So, default is just nothing. Then beard. Then mustache. Other beard. Bearded mustache. Mutton chops. Well-known facial hairstyle of, uh, pinhead monster. Hi. Oh no, he just lost that side of his head. It was very tragic. Okay, you can set up some really odd-looking characters here. Okay, more. there's more options here that are not facial hair than there are that are facial hair. 
feel like at some point maybe facial hair is not the best thing to call it. Is there hair that goes with this particular look? Kind of, actually. Not the worst setup. Root color? Oh, you have roots and tips, so you can set up like your highlights in your hair. Alright. Go with blue? Yeah, blue hair to go with my blue weird face. Oh, I have a face tattoo. Okay. You have a top to bottom shadow. A few other ones that are a little harder to see. I'll go with the shadow one. Body tattoo. Which version of Darth Maul would you like to be today? Good question. No tattoo? What am I, a loser? Tattoo color. Whoa, okay. Okay, now I can start looking like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Whether they, when they had like the, the hand print on their chest. I can kind of make this work, right? Kind of like the look of that, so I kind of want to change my hair color to being like red. There we go. Now my hair is red to go with the fact that now everything else is blue. Alright, I can go with this. Sure. This guy looks like somebody who makes good life decisions. <laughs> In an age long since forgotten, a prophecy once told that there would come a time when the sun would grow dark and cold. A bone-chilling wind would surge from the deepest pits of the abyss. And the dead would rise in its wake. Harbingers of destruction and despair. Left to its own, this wind would bring war. War that would ravage the nine planets. Beasts would break their bonds and flood the soil with their poison. all wither away to nothingness unless we were willing to make impossible choices warriors of legend would rise once again black of heart they would be this is the day of prophecy He seems displeased. Alright, he actually looks pretty awesome when he's well lit and everything. Although it's gonna be really awkward if I go outside and everyone's like wearing like a polo shirt. Alright, B is roll. A is maybe nothing. X is not currently anything. Oh, I can't find an attack button yet. 
Not yet. Are those stairs just bouncing up and down a little bit? That might just be aliasing. Alright, so health meter, energy meter, stamina meter looks like. Oh, there's some scale to all this. Oh, are we gonna see it? The columns? Not, not quite, not yet. Gotta save it. The money shot. Can I grab anything out of these guys, or...? They seem like they've been having a good day. And that they're all obliterated right now. Whoa, look at that. Look at that thing. That's absurd. Press B to dodge here. Oh, we're doing... Are we doing the, the the tutorial messages like in a uh, oop, like in Dark Souls, little floor messages? Is that why it was glowing? How do I run? Like des oh oh you hold X to run, or you press X to toggle and to run? No. How did I run a second ago? I can't do it again. <laughs> Wait, how did I just do that? Oh, you click left stick. There we go. I somehow got in my head that I pressed X to do that. I don't, I don't know how. Okay. Items. Bit capsule, tiny, small energy potion. Is that an obelisk? Oh, that's probably an obelisk down there. Or is that? Are you an obelisk? It's probably the red thing, right? Okay, that looks more dramatic, yeah. You can also equip weapon blueprints. I guess let's try to loot everything I can, then then try to open that. Oh, boy. It's just like that time with the Geth. <laughs> they stabbed people up. Everyone's bigger than me. <laughs> like, everyone is bigger than me in this world, apparently. I feel like we should be a little concerned about that, right? Also, they died a long-ass time ago, apparently, because they're all skulls? It's also like an entire crew of people that wear body armor. And have... It's all... Yeah, they all... They all wear body armor, but none of them wear helmets, so now they're all skulls. And yet, despite the fact they've decayed down to having skulls, they have, like, super shapely asses. So, like, none of that's decayed, apparently. Or the armor's just so so unflexible that even after the corpses decay down to nothing, they still have like a crotch bulge and a butt and like defined musculature despite their skull being all that's left of their head. Maybe the enemy shoots them with special lasers that just melt all the flesh off of specifically their head and that's how they die. And they all died like a minute ago. <laughs> Equip. I have a prison guard pistol. Alright. Can I upgrade it actually? So you spend bits, and then also need the resources. At the moment I have the bits, but not the resources, to give it one more damage and stability. And just like that, I've got a gun! Friend or foe? Game seems to be suggesting foe. Also, the scary the appearance suggests foe. Oh boy, who's a zombie? Reload is left trigger and A. I might, depending on how heavily it uses uh, guns versus melee weapons, 
I might switch to mouse. I find controlling a third-person RPG character works better with a controller for me, but uh, if it's a, if it's going to be straight up a shooter... Seriously, these characters are huge. If it's going to be a shooter, then I might as well use uh, keyboard and mouse. Ugh. Bit of a sway there. Does it matter where I shoot him? 20. 11, 22. Not super sure yet. So the forgotten bits are I'm getting off the, off the floor. They seem to be displayed on all... On the screen at all times, almost like the souls and dark souls. And then you have the on-screen inventory with the equivalent of like your weapons and your Estus flask all being on screen at once. So this might be going that way. So why is... Yeah, why is my consumables? It, does D-pad change stuff? Yep, left and right in the D-pad changes between that and that. Up and down doesn't do anything at the moment. But left and right changes my consumable, consumables. He's probably really nice, right? Oh boy. Uh, seem to notice that you don't use a ranged weapon. Oh boy. Is that your weak spot right there? Woohoo! Grab me some of those. Where's he at? Ow, he actually reached me from there. My bad. I can see your feet. Yeah. Oh, he runs out of stamina and can't block anymore. That's worth knowing. Having some of that good old-fashioned difficulty at aiming in third-person games. Honestly, it'd be easier to fight with a melee weapon if I had one. That would just dodge around his defenses. Is that your weak spot back there? Oh yeah, it is. There's a ragdoll. Mmm, get in there. Oh, he's gone. I wanted to just like, like start rolling on him and see how far we can take the ragdoll. Hello. That's an odd sight. Weird writing showing up everywhere. Corpse man McCorpsington's over here. Looking like Ilos outside. Very pleasant. Ooh. Increases ammunition capacity by 25%. Cool. I'll take it. Ooh, long rifle. The thing I'm actually built for, as far as my specialization goes. Right, I just remembered that I was supposed to have a sword, two swords and a, and a sniper rifle, basically. Didn't work out like that so far. Ooh, did I loop all the way around to where I was earlier? Said I need a serum decree in order to open that door and that bridge. Yeah, that should be the obelisk from earlier. Does it refill my health? There we go. Get that long rifle in there. Can't afford any upgrades because I don't have any components still. Other weapon slots are just locked altogether. Let's see, this thing. Uh. Marksmen are artists, and their rifles, their brush. Slow firing, but greatly accurate. These weapons are best suited for aimed critical shots. Attachments, tactical scope, slightly increases lock-on range. Oh, there's lock-on? You can lock on your guns? Sound focus, constrains noise to a cone in front of the weapon. So other people don't hear you in other directions. So apparently there's stealth mechanics in this game. 
Precision attack. Fires a single shot with increased critical damage. Accurate shots cause devastating damage. So physical damage type. I do 70 plus 9. Then plus 9 must be scaling or something. Firing mode single shot. Normal scaling 35%. Special scaling 35%. Critical bonus 30%. Arm penetration, stability, range, recoil. Okay. I have a power attack called a precision attack. Energy use of 25. Normal scaling and special scaling. Okay, what do those mean? Is my level up screen? Finesse, perception, strength, agility, toughness, endurance, expertise, insight. Okay. Finesse affects your reload speed, increases ranged weapon reload speed. Finesse is a common requirement for fine weaponry. Perception. Critical damage bonus increases bonus damage dealt when inflicting critical hits on enemies. Is that headshots? Like with the sniper rifle? Perception is a common requirement for precise weaponry. Strength. Melee weapon scaling increases damage dealt with melee attacks. Agility. Increases efficiency of your dodge roll, making it easier to avoid attacks. Med pack speed. Decreases time it takes to use a med pack. Toughness. Increases your health pool, making you able to withstand more damage before dying. Reduces accuracy penalties when damaged. So that's like, that's like a poise? Endurance. Increases your stamina pool, allowing you to dodge and run more before being up, becoming exhausted. Increases how fast your stamina is restored while recovering. Expertise. Increases damage dealt with standard weaponry. weaponry. What's standard? Yeah, what is standard? Special weapon scaling increases damage dealt with advanced weaponry. Increases your energy pool, allow allowing additional power attacks. Weird. So standard and special weapon scaling. So we have ranged, melee, standard, and special. Which is just kind of confusing. Okay. You have normal scaling and special scaling. Normal scaling? I thought it said standard. No, normal. Oh, standard versus advanced. Okay, so putting points into this is good for my ability to do more damage with those kinds of weapons. But I did uh, equal scaling with both. Yeah, normal and special are both 35%. Okay. Might as well just go with normal then. Boom. The one point worth of ability I have right now. Hello. Let's go fuck something up. I did it. What the fuck? <laughs> it clearly bounced off of his head. Is he bulletproof? That's bizarre. Oh, here it comes. Oh, that's some damage. Oh, that's an enemy that actually has a weapon this time. I should be concerned about that. Probably. I'm gonna do myself a favor here real quick. Uh, hammer sensitivity. Lock on toggle. Hmm, let's turn this down. It seems to be swooping around too fast. What? The game just went to a black screen? All I did was... that was weird. All I did was change my aiming speed. Okay, let's look at a... Input. Controller. A weapon wheels on left bumper. Power attacks right bumper. Okay, melee is X. I don't have a melee weapon yet though. Lock on's right stick. Oh yeah, there it is. Boom! Alright, we'll see how lock on works, if it works with ranged weapons or not and stuff. 
an interesting idea to be locking on with your in your gun game. Although, you know, Devil May Cry. Where you lock onto somebody, then juggle them with bullets from your dual pistols, because that's how guns work. I mean, you... I, it's not completely insane to think you might be able to juggle somebody if you could hit them with tons of bullets in midair, maybe. I don't really know. But it, it, it'd have to go into in some territory where you're, it's not penetrating their body, at least. At the very... at the bare minimum. Because bullets just go through people. So DMC is pretty crazy. Lock on. Okay, lock on where you miss. Or I could just aim manually aim. <laughs> Do way more damage. Where's everyone at? He's fine. It's a flesh wound. The flesh happened to be his brain, but you know. Uh. Excuse me. Don't do that. Oopsie. There we go. This is really odd. This is really odd, because visibly a lot of this stuff is set up like a Dark Souls style game, but of course, I'm using guns exclusively so far. Which really changes how you look at some of the stuff. Memorial. With the help of Dokar engineers, the stasis chambers of the prison were constructed to withstand the challenge of powerful creatures. Okay. Am I the powerful creature? I like how I was being held in chains, even though the chains were apparently completely useless. Increased hit resistance. Cold resistance. Energy potion. Ammo pack. Cyanide pill. <laughs> Death may not be permanent, but it can get you out of sticky situations. Simple scavenger kit. Gather ammunition and stay effective in the field for longer. They're designed to detect loose ammunition for a limited time. Carrying capacity one. That's just like an item I have right now, I think. Like an upgrade I got. Serum decree. Used to measure worth. Allowing access to selected areas, depending on gathering mount. Are they just telling me that I can go to my inventory just for fun? But not for any particular reason, maybe? I don't, I'm not sure what they want me to go into the inventory for besides just showing me that I can. This might be a dead end where you just get that memorial. I think there was another direction back here. I almost walked off that cliff <laughs> for a second there. I was switching the camera back and forth to look around and kind of realized at the last second that I'd, I almost walked right off the ledge. This is a new obelisk, I think, yeah. The Worn Rapier. Alright, now I get melee weapons. There we go. Upgrade this thing if I can, and I can. Now it's rank 2. Next rank's gonna be a little harder. Just going for that weapon scaling. We're so close to one-shotting people that I kind of want to see if I can make it there. Okay, so... Oh, right, you just press melee. I was like, how do I switch to my melee weapon? And I remembered that melee is mapped to... X. Yep, there we go. Oh, require mandatory melee to get through here. Well, this is an unusual setup for a game. This this is what I have for weapons and everything. Oop. They're telling me about the weapon wheel right now. Almost. Almost got the one hit kill. 
We're getting there. Any minute now. It's a little weird to me how many enemies seem to be walking towards me. Like, for melee. They're just totally unequipped for, like, the basic... The basics of how combat works at the moment. Like, dude, I can just shoot you. You gotta, you gotta hustle if you want to do anything. Seriously, this game, it's... They are... They seem to be, uh... Squares instead of hexagons, but still, like, this is... This is so far, like, Colin rejointing the game. Almost every element of the visuals, it seems designed to resemble basalt columns. Oh, they tell- they tell- oh my god, those- those sociopaths, they waited this long to tell us how to- how to run. That's just mean. <laughs> And now they tell me how to lock on. I don't, I'm not fond of lock on though. This game has headshots in it. Who needs lock on when I have headshots? Admittedly, my uh, headshots don't do enough. To, uh, well. hey buddy, what's it? How's it going? Wow, that's not very damaging. Okay, that almost killed me. Ow! Shit. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd take a moment to experiment with the, uh, the, the melee weapon. That was a mistake. It is not up to snuff with how good my other weapon is. It doesn't make any sense to use the melee weapons at the moment. Due to aforementioned reasons of why it's silly that everyone else is trying to melee me when I can shoot them in the, in the face with a gun. It's actually easier to roll through the stuff than it is to use my gun. I have my melee weapon. So even its one other purpose of being used for navigational purposes is currently irrelevant because I can just roll through the debris. I imagine melee plays a role at some point. I mean, they it's in the game. Just not currently the case. Nice then, Dole. Stand still most of the time. Yeah, howdy there. This is the first obelisk, isn't it? We just opened up like a shortcut back into it. We can upgrade it again. Seven components. I need seven components. I currently have... Oh, I have one. So not doing great there. How do I upgrade you? Basic components. Oh, but I have a better one already. Ranger's pistol, right? 80% normal scaling, 0% special, special scaling, but aside from that, all the numbers are higher. So, go for that. What's its upgrade like? Also basic components. Worn rapiers are, are basic components. And there's no other wet weapon yet for that slot. Do I have a better... I don't have a better rifle yet. And it's 1800 to level up right now, so we're done with that for now. Okay, so now everything respawned, but my... Oh, so did, so did my heals, for that matter. Oops. Ah, you can dash while aiming, but it's only a dash, it's not a roll. So if you want to roll under the attacks, you have to stop aiming. Whoop. So definitely Dark Souls rules, where we have bonfires, we have levels that wrap on themselves. Doors, you, like Metroidvania-ish designs to like the levels that you unlock and everything. Ooh, that was a one-shot kill. And yeah, when you rest at this game's equivalent of bonfires, you then uh, reset all the enemies and even the debris, apparently. So I gotta be very careful and keep straight which direction I was going in before or I could get mixed up really bad. Boss fight? Oh, 
Hi. Oh, uh, shit. There's no cover. Ow. It's a bit weird how... The okay, yeah, there's no cover in here at all, actually. Shit. Ow. I have to roll a lot earlier than, I'm, than I have been. Ow, shit. This is different. This is where the lock-on comes in handy. Ow, shit. What can I... Re ah. Reactions feel a little re delayed. Oh, look at that big weakness on his back. Oh, shit. He really gets stuck in the... Ah. That'll... That, that'll take some getting used to. Healing is a very, very long animation, but it's a little hard to, like, visually detect how long it is. If you know what I mean. See, it's all my... Yeah, my, my stuff's on my body. Let's see. Let's try corpse running. Give that a, that age-old approach, a practice, uh, a test of curiosity. Because now that everyone has guns, it's probably more dangerous than usual. Also more dangerous if I don't fucking remember which way to go. Whoops. And I get out of range in time. Oh boy. Nope, skippable cutscenes. Okay, so you, you grab that stuff by just being in range. That took a hit. Ow, damn it. It's a long... See, it, I feel like your animation ends, and then you still can't move after... After having used your heal. There you go. Get an angle on that weak spot and you're pretty much in. Well, there we go. The Ashborn Defender. Uncommon assault rifle. Guys, this is bizarre. <laughs> Uncommon sniper rifle. This is the strangest game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Like I'm locking on and circle strafing and navigate and, and and like managing my stamina like we're used to and using and having access to like you know dealing with the issue where like you take really rapid damage and you have like a big time consuming heal that you use like all the stuff I'm used to from souls but but I'm using a sniper rifle against a guy that's shooting me with a gun and he has a glowy weak spot on his back. It's like it's such a different direction to take it in. Huh. Point, points for originality. I can't confidently give any impression of the combat yet. Whoa. Ah. The fuck is that? What was that? That was weird. I can't give a strong impression of the combat yet. It's a little weird. Oh my god. It's the throne of columnar jointing. <laughs> Go after my two, th my two things that I, I harp on, which is souls like combat and basalt columns. Like this room, <laughs> going from that boss fight to this room is the funniest juxtaposition for me, and it's so specific to me. This is the oddest. When I say that I can't comment on the on the on the uh, combat yet, 
there's elements of it that feel wrong and weird, like elements of dodging and like some of the timing where like I, there was moments where I pressed B to dodge and I'm like, and then he didn't get out of the way and I'm like, was I still in an animation? I couldn't quite tell. Cause your character's like doing this and like even when you do this and you heal and so on, like a lot of your character's movement is really minor. You're, the, uh, if you look at like Monster Hunter and Dark Souls, they do really, really exaggerated animations on the character. So they're very expressive and that's, it both gives them more character and it makes them easier to read as the player. Uh, while I was playing the game, while I was playing this and watching the enemy and dodging around and stuff, I couldn't really tell at any given moment for sure whether my character was able to dodge at that moment or not. So when it, when it didn't work sometimes, I didn't really know why. And I think it's because a guy holding a rifle has really minor animations if you tell him to like inject himself or whatnot. Can I talk to this guy or? Oh, he's facing me. It's almost like the Archstones from Demon Souls. Eros. You live. There is yet a chance to reverse this. Do not be alarmed if you have no recollection. The detention affects the mind. As such, you stand within the Grand Hall, the only sanctuary remaining. But that too is in jeopardy. The undead are unrelenting. As the monolith weakens, so does our protective shield. We face a grave threat. You seem to be our last hope. Before you stands the monolith, keeper of the cosmos, anchor of reality. I am its steward. We have much to discuss. Join with the monolith. Go and become one with it. Sadly, this is but a glimmer of what it once was. Yet it still has the power to bestow what it finds necessary. Soon to be reborn, if you do what is needed. Go join with the monolith. Howdy, what's over here? What are these guys? What, what, the, what the heck are these guys? It is said. But in the beginning there was light, and the great monolith revealed itself. Born from this was the stream, flowing, binding, and creating the cosmos and all within it. Stars and planets formed, and life followed. This was the dawn of all races. But as the first children of the monolith explored the power of the stream, their worlds collided. Ultimately, one race would strive for power. They were the Prime, and the instigators of the Prime Azurian War. With their victory, the Prime claimed the core, and with it, the home of the Monolith. It bestowed great power unto them, and gave them dominion over all life. Great cities were built. Technological advancements and trade allowed the worlds to flourish and bloom. Thus, the Golden Age began. This was the time of heroes, where legends were born and their stories told. And so it was for eons. But this was not to last. An evil is spreading through the cosmos.
All is in jeopardy. This is the weirdest. <laughs> this is just immediately the weirdest. So I take it that's like the first world down there. Oh yeah. Like I bet that one opened. Oh no, this one. Is that the final one maybe? Yeah, you can just look in there and there's a there's a world. Huh. All right, let's let's take stock on this this so far. So, looking at this game so far, I am... Um, I'm intrigued. This game's bizarre. The combat ideas are so... odd. But like... So first of all, like level design-wise, I have two complaints. One, the first world wasn't very interesting to navigate. Or whatever you want to call it, the tutorial zone or whatever. It just wasn't very interesting to actually go around in. It was kind of just a very lo blocky grid layout. And also this thing going on here. This column obsession kind of makes the entire level look like just just gibberish. Like there's no there's no sense to it. You don't have any idea of like where you are in a world. It doesn't feel like a living place that you're going through. It's just a weird noise of shapes. And I'm a little uh, concerned cuz I was like, "Oh, maybe this is just the tutorial." But in there you can see more of it. It looks like it's changing a bit. But it also looks like it's really heavy in this stuff, and it's like... It's kind of one of the issues of the games, uh... The, the Cube and Cube 2. Because those, those are both games where it's just, it's just shapes, and you're just going places. And you just get kind of, It's just a delivery system of getting to more puzzle chambers in those games. And in this one, it's like, I... I can see this becoming super shamey, uh, samey if they don't, like, really... Really, uh... Mix things up at some point. Because this is kind of just noise, visually. Uh... Combat-wise, I don't have a lot to say about the most enemies because they were just standing around, kind of. But that boss fight... There's a little bit of clunkiness to the dodging and stuff that I'm not sure of yet. We'll see. I'd have to play more to have a more certain idea, but... It's hard not to see potential immediately once I started, like, locking onto the boss and circle strafing and... Dodging its attacks and shooting its weak spot and, like, managing my reload and then it had a stun it i think it could be stunned and it had to reload and stuff like there's like things going on there i'm like this is a form of combat that could work i won't i won't know right now whether this game nails it or not but i it's an idea that has legs i think that that kind of one on one like weird souls like gun combat duel and stuff like that where you're just kind of confined to a small room so you can't just actually run away and, and take advantage of the range of the guns but you're just dodging and weaving and stuff a little bit like the game fury where there'd be like bullet hell elements where you'd like to avoid the projectiles and get your shots in when you can like that that has potential be grateful that the monolith has accepted you this is not something granted lightly nor too many it pains me to know it has been tainted yet this bond will grant you benefits However, do not be surprised if your memory has not returned. It will in due time. The end nears. The light of many worlds is fading. And for some, the end has come. Necessity demands this. However, there is an evil that must be stopped. I am bound to this place. You, however, are free and unconstrained, able to venture forth. You linger. Bring forth your questions, should you have any. Oh, you can actually, there's actually dialogue. Oh, hey. Ask about the situation. The Nine Realms wither. The undead are spreading everywhere, with nothing to oppose them. Before anything else can be done, this must be addressed. These portals are gateways to the realms. Do you understand? Your empty gaze gives me little confidence. You linger. Ask about the room. The Grand Hall is the center from which all paths lead. The gateways before you, 
lead to other worlds. Some have fallen dark, their destinies already determined. Ours, however, can and will be changed. You... That's what must be done. There are three Nexus Orbs. They channel power to the Monolith from the Nine Realms. That power is being interrupted and the Monolith is becoming unstable. We can delay disaster by restoring the Nexus Orbs. Go find them. Only then can I search for the source of this evil. Three orbs. So that's what these things are. Th these three red things on the side. So is this a level up monolith? You can talk to it? Eh. Uh, not so much. There we go. So it, this works like the other ones do. Okay. This one's 79 plus 11, this one's 120 plus 30, but it requires 11 of the flexi arm, which should be strength. Ooh, it's two more levels. No, I can't reach the level required to wear, put on the cool weapon. Dang it. Ooh, SMGs. That sounds like fun. No replacement rapier, though. They seem low priority for the game. Oh my god. They're all glowy. Alright, so one more strength before I can even use these. Alright, I think I'm going to cut it out here, guys. Thanks for watching, like always, and thanks to the developers for providing me with the key for a preview event thing, that whatever this, whatever you want to call this. Uh, thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Link in the description to the Steam page where you can wishlist it so you'll be notified when it comes out. Or if you're playing it, or if you're watching this later, then I guess you could just buy it now. See you guys next time.